Pretty epic. Oh, I can see. I can see the finish line now. <laughs> there it is. What a moment. All right. Everyone is raising right. their flags. We got the <laughs> checker <laughs> flag ready for you. We're almost there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you can see my mom and dad, too. All right. Woo! <laughs> we did it. <laughs> what a moment. There We're we here. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> what a moment! There We're we here! Go. Oh, thank you! Congratulations. <laughs> what an oh, achievement. Wow. I should have brought some tissue. I know, I know. <laughs> you wow. deserve it. You deserve it. And your parents are here. That's awesome. This is so That's sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, let's do it, yeah, shall right. we? Okay. Woo! <laughs> oh. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> One charge down, a billion to go. 100 years ago, Aloha Wanderwell was the first woman to circumnavigate the globe. She did it in a Model T Ford. Just arrived at the lovely Bondi Beach. I'm Lexi Alford, traveler and adventurer. I have never been to the Taj Mahal before, and wow. Inspired by Aloha, I'm attempting a new epic journey. Of course, I'm nervous. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before. To be the first person to circumnavigate the world in an electric vehicle. The Ford Explorer. It's gonna be a matter of pushing the limits of what people think is gonna be possible. In every direction I see the Himalayas, it feels really surreal to be here. In this record-setting attempt... We've been tracking you. You've actually done 6,526 kilometers. Boom. Boom. I'll need to drive on at least five continents. I'm currently on the coast of Greece. Serbia. Melbourne. India. Cape Town. Off to the next chapter clocking up a minimum of 28,900 kilometers. That's how you change your tire. <sighs> it's gonna be a long day. Oh boy. I'm having the most incredible adventure, meeting the locals. These women are so badass, it's crazy. <laughs> exploring their countries. The beeping, the sounds, the colors. These streets are something else. And embracing new cultures. This is beautiful. Thank you so much. Through every high. These mountains are so beautiful. A little spontaneous dance party here at the charging station <laughs> rest stop. <laughs> and every low. I've been feeling so, so sick. It kind of feels like we're stuck in immigration no man's land. There's been so many bumps in the road. Now I'm getting worried about finishing. It's not great for the record, but I'm trying to survive at the moment. By the looks of this map, the charges just end. <laughs> Gigantic out of order sign on it. Domestic charging is the name of the game now. Good night. As I attempt to set a world first. Like nothing about this process makes sense. In an electric car. Stakes are really high and the pressure because there's so much riding on this. It's moments like these that are my absolute yeah. favorites. But throughout the journey, the Ford Explorer has been my rock. Definitely feel like that I'm ready to take on the next adventure. Charge around the globe, exploring reinvented. We oh. are at Record Center are thrilled to announce we have an official world record for the first person to circumnavigate the globe by electric vehicle. Oh, Congratulations. thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I'm feeling absolutely speechless. This has been the honor and a privilege of a lifetime to be able to travel around the world in an electric vehicle and honestly a little bit of a relief because I'm feeling so exhausted from the past 200 days on the road. 
I've driven the new electric Ford Explorer for the past 200 days in so many different environments and terrains, and honestly, it's felt like my home on wheels. It's become an extension of myself, and I couldn't think of a better vehicle to have done this gigantic expedition with. I learned so much about driving an electric vehicle on this expedition and I found everything from unique charging solutions like domestic charging using household outlets to solar panels to even battery packs to try to get me to where I need to go and I think with the goal of pushing the limits of what's possible to do in an electric vehicle I hope that through my journey around the world I've shown that you're very much able to drive an electric vehicle in Europe every day. Driving more than 30,000 kilometers on six continents and through 27 countries was such a unique experience. So much diversity, the landscapes changed from, from snowy mountains to the desert, to the warm, the cold, driving on the left side of the road, the right side of the road, and I feel like I've learned so much being able to travel through these countries truly on the ground level. We are here today because we are celebrating a great moment for Ford in Europe. Exactly 100 years ago, Aloha Wonderwell was the first person to actually travel around the globe in a car. And today, Lexi Limitless is returning from a journey around the globe in an electric vehicle. First time this has ever been done um, with an electric vehicle. And uh, she has traveled with our new all electric Ford Explorer. So today we had a convoy of historic Ford vehicles, Ford icons, follow Lexi over her last miles all the way to the finish line. This is to show that Ford has always had iconic products during our history here in Europe. And uh, now our Ford Explorer is joining this uh, family of iconic products. charge around the globe is to prove what you actually can do with an electric vehicle. If Lexi is able to travel around the world on all road conditions through weather, through uh, 27 countries, six continents, then of course it's possible for all customers to explore the world in Europe with an electric vehicle. And this is what we wanted to prove. Our new electric Explorer is really an outstanding product. For example, we're going to have more than 600 kilometers of range and charging from 10% to 80% will take only about 26 minutes. And the Ford Explorer is another iconic product. It joins our family of icons like Bronco or Ranger. Ford does not do boring. At Ford, we are deeply convinced that the future of individual transportation is electric vehicles. And by the end of this year, we are going to have a broad range of passenger vehicle and light commercial vehicles, all electric for our customers. But of course, we are also offering vehicles with combustion engine and plug-in hybrid so that um, the consumer has the power of choice. Like a 
Like a fire 